We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Division rivals do battle next. They take the field here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Yeah, Maddie, you can't win when, when you're First giving pitch. up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over the harder plate, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making anyone feel uncomfortable. The guys were taking huge hacks off them. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. That is the left field. Andrew. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. First pitch coming. Here it is. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Bases are empty. One man out. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. Anderson has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. And another foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes, count. Temperature at first pitch. There it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. Lifted the other way out to left center. And Ciarte on the run. Lays out and he's got it. A great play for out number two. Now that is an impressive vertical on this guy. As we take a look at it on replay, we can see just how high he had to get up to make that catch. That play might earn him a steak dinner from the pitcher. Next to the plate for the Phils, Bryce Harper. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, d -Row. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you can see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Question in the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. The next time, it's a ball. Kind of a little cat and mouse with the umpire when you should be focused on the pitcher. Throw to three. Got plenty of time and the side is retired. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. It's the Phillies nothing. Braves coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Jared Eikhoff, right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? 
Hey, not a very good start in his last one, Matt. Only four innings, so he did get a no decision. But he's a much better pitcher than that, and I know that they're expecting more than four innings. Hopefully, a win, too, out of this guy in this one. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. They'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ender. Ender. Nope, and that's the ball. ball one no. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they'll look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Matty, a lot of things trending in the right direction for this team. They won their last game. They scored a bunch of runs. And let's see if they continue that today. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And, oh, he missed a home run by a matter of feet. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Every hitting coach in the league will tell you it only takes one swing at that to get out of the slump, and maybe that's what we're seeing right here. He's been struggling, no doubt about it, but he's able to lace this thing off the wall, and he's standing in second with some newfound confidence. Striding forward now, Ozzy Albies, and he's been swinging it well the last couple of games. Dangerous curveball that time, but laid off as it drops into the top of the zone. I know it's the first inning, but he better find his release point on that breaking stuff, or he's in for a long day. All right, set with the 0 and 1. Aye. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Albies, originally from the island nation of Curacao. Very well could be a starter in the upcoming Midsummer Classic as he currently leads all National League second baseman in all-star votes. Yeah, Matty, not surprised this guy is on the top of the all-star game going, but you have to take a step back. This is being voted on by the fans, so I can't imagine how he feels to be voted in by his fans to start in the all-star game. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ben Intendi's got it, and there's one away. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. As a look, now the pitch. You are. In Ciarte. Leads off second with one gun in the inning. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Guess where he's going with this next pitch. Probably a little further outside. See if the fish are still biting. Two and two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing from the ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. One out and a runner on second base. Getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this thing. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. Now at the plate, Ronald Acuna having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Steal, steal! And a double steal try here. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0 
one pitch to third. Turner's got it. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. And inning in the books. No score on the show. Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. First shot for him here. Two hits in five trips a night ago. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball in there for a cold strike. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. I know he's down the count right now and it's not looking good but he's been swinging the bat so well lately. I don't think he minds this one bit. Here it comes. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box, Justin Turner. And that misses ball one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. A dozen home runs and 29 driven in. Here comes the 1 0. Not close, it's 2 0. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch. Ball. This is where you cash your checks right here. 3 1. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. No score here as we play inning number two. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. One more time. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Here's Jake Bruce now. And he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. to him on the way. Hey. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation. I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. Two out, nobody on. Oh, off that's plate, off plate. one ball, one strike. Now a swing as he foul tips it here and right off his arm behind the plate. That hurts. One two. It's laid off yep, for ball two. Out, two two pitches found away. <laughs> now here's the pitch, and that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Number twenty five corrals it. Second, no score. The next to bat for Atlanta, Marcelo Zuma. 
good. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line toward right center. Uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first down. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. As you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. First pitch to him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's 1 and 2. Bottom of the second here with no score. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. That is that. The third base Austin. Riley. Standing in, Austin Riley. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here it comes. All one. Now one and oh. That's ball three. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. Out of play. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. Uh, this will be a foul ball as that even spins at two and two. Now the pitch. Look to me like he tried to do way too much on that two-two pitch. You don't have to come into the zone on that count, but a pitch that far outside isn't going to tempt anyone to swim. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Braves are set down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Digging in, Zach Collins. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. Oh, Tries cool. to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. And now a pitch on the way. Nope. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Too ball, tall that time. Point. Three and one now. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner run so far. Oh, 
And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The next three, two. And he lays ball off there, ball Take four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. They haven't been able to register a hit against this Target. guy, but at least they have the a base runner base. here. We'll see Target. if that leads to something. Fourth time. Standing in, Logan Forsythe. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. He's set and the pitch. Hit out towards second. The second for one. On to Freeman. A double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff run. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Now at the plate, Jared Eikhoff. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. Too tight with Three that one. Three and zero. Oh. Well, he knows it, but this is the kind of guy you just have to go right after. He's not the biggest threat with the bat, so it's time to challenge him right here. Three and one. Stealing that strike on 3-0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. Pops this one up. Albies is there, and that retires the shot. Down quickly go the Phillies. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Just about set to go here as the Braves come to bat in the third inning. And this is an offense that's really been productive this year. They're currently near the top of the league in team batting average. So more often than not, they're going to give opposing pitchers a tough matchup. One player told me before the game they have a solid group of guys in this lineup, but that they also owe a lot of credit to the coaching staff for working tirelessly with them every day to get them ready and keep improving. Really seems to be a total team effort, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The captain, number 25. First pitch on its way. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. He chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. Ball foul down the left side. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. There to make the catch is Hoskins, and that's the first out of the inning. Batting up, the pitcher, Ian Anderson. Settling in now, Ian Anderson, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. There's a swing, and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. Will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The center fielder, number 11, enter 
in the orchard. So it's back to the top of the order now. That'll bring up Ender in Ciarte. First offering on its way. Well outside, outside with ball. the curveball for a ball. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward. The 1-0. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. 1-1. One, one. Misses oh, off the plate. Down. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to fix around this guy a little bit. Two one home. That's ball three. Rip down the line, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. This misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Well, that was a slider on a 3 2 count. Hit. It just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. Runner at first here with two gone in the inning. That will bring up Ozzie Albies. Nothing doing. Here it comes, one and oh. Hey, I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in, we'll take it. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. From the stretch, rounded down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Drilled down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. Second. Now, oh my, 
high. This ball is crushed. Look at it go. And that one is gone. Three run home run down the line in right. Number 13 for him on the year as the Braves have opened up a 3-0 lead. right now he worked his tail off to get out of that jam and was one strike away from getting there and then boom all that work goes to waste from zero damage to a three run homer in the blink of an eye well, you digs in now so take a look at the ball one you're for one for him here in this one is inside. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. The Braves do pick up three on the strength of this three-run home run. We played three full. It's now three-nothing Atlanta. All set for the start of the inning. And stepping up is the shortstop, Gene Segura. Hey, we're still in the early stage, and in this one, they're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. And this is a case of a pitcher letting his frustrations get the best of him. He feels like he gets robbed on the previous pitch, and he just rears back and really let it go on the next pitch, but it got away from him in a big way. Ready for another chance, Andrew Benintendi. First pitch coming, here it is. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting out. Swing by Benintendi, and this is driven to deep right. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Andrew Benintendi, a two-run shot. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Phils have cut it to a three-to-two game now. Well, they were a lot more comfortable up three than they are now, only up by one. That just goes to show you one pitch, one two-run shot, and the entire complexion of the game can change just like that. Next to dig in will be Blaze Harper. Right. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game.
0 oh, and 1 the count to Bryce Harper. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Lays off that time and it's one and two. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. The one two. Lifted the other way to left center. Ozuna is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. The first baseman, number 17, Reese Hoskins. So striding forward now, Reese Hoskins was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He got to find a way. Can't go down three Whoa, pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Still only one out in the inning. Runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and now. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, Hoskins brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. 3-0 and oh now. No surprise here that they're working around this big boy. Certainly not going to let this guy tie the game up with something fat out over the heart of the plate. Hey. That one's in there, three and one. One out, nobody on. And this is swung on and grounded out to Swanson at short. And that's the second out. Now that third base. Justin Turner. In now, Justin Turner. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. And that's in there. Base hit. Hey, after that hit right there, Giro, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, man. Standing in now, Jake Bruce. So take a look at a strike on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. And Bruce can't come oh, up with that one as he swings through it for strike two. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0 2 pick. That's ball swung out and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. With the fight and strike for a pair, both coming on this two run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Braves three and the Phillies two. Welcome back to Truist Park just outside Atlanta as we send it down to check in with Heidi. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've been able to push across three runs to this point, but they've also made the opposition work extremely hard. He's thrown a lot of pitches, and they think they're going to have a good opportunity to push across a lot more runs as he tires or as they get into that bullpen. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to, go. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring up big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Let's start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Ball two. No break.
2 0 count. Pitch. There's a line drive. Base hit to left field. something with got him right. to miss the breaking ball no, there Dansby right. Swanson oh, goes yeah. down for route number two oh, yeah. in the bottom half so now to the plate Austin Riley as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one looking to put the ball in play here he went down on strikes in his first at bat now the 0 1 there's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Strike taken up in the zone. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. Braves go down quietly, but they still lead it three to two. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs. But he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone their way to this point, but that shouldn't mean they can't put together some great swings the rest of the way. Thank, Thank you, Heidi. Collin. Here's the first pitch to him. Zach hey. Collins is in to start things Hold off here as he looks at a cold strike that's nothing in one. Hold and it's one and two. one. Swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Acuna going back. But he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. As we take a look at this one, you can see he puts a good swing on it. But I don't think he got on it just enough to put some backspin to get it out of here. But hard to complain about a well hit double, though.
at the plate, Logan Forsythe swings and grounds it to short. Swanson scoops it up. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up You're inside right. and gets a okay. soft grounder for the out. So striding in, Jared Eichhoff, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Set. Now the pitch. Ball one. Count one and oh. The one oh. Misses for the second oh. ball. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. Now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. It's amazing how guys can lose focus sometimes when the weaker hitters come up, especially the pitchers. You've got to stay on the attack and minimize pitches and get these guys out in the road. Segura, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Slider finds the zone for a strike. A ball and a strike to the Phillies' leadoff man. behind on that swing and now they'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. One two pitch in the air to straightaway right. Acuna is there for it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the time run in scoring position. One left for Philadelphia. They're down three to two. Now, number 25, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. First pitch of the at bat. Try to check it, and it's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And that misses 1 and 1. One and two. The pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. I'll tell you, he's showing no signs of tiring right now. Still looks razor sharp from what I can tell, so I think he might last a while longer if he can keep this up. Stepping in now, Ian Anderson. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. Wind up and a 1 0 pitch. 
ball and a strike. One one. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. Fouled off. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. He's really on a roll right now. The amount of back to back strikeouts to wrap up the last inning. And now he's throwing this round the same story. Four straight strikeouts in all. And he takes ball one. The 1 0. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it, makes the catch, and that will retire the side. Down in order go the Braves, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Andrew Benintendi will stand in again as we flash it back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run. It was definitely one of the big blows in the ball game to this point. Delivery to him on the way. Two balls, no sense. There's a chopper right side of the infield. High hop and he bare hands it. It's in time. The right field the three. Right. Here's Bryce Harper now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. They'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Ball, and that thing got up there at 95 miles an hour, a ball and a strike. 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Swing and a line drive. But this will land foul as he didn't miss by much. Now the 2-2. It's laid off and the count runs full. 3-2 counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now here's the pitch. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. After the walk, a quick check on first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. It's coming. Here it is. Hey. Three twos are score here in inning number six. One ball and one strike to the Phillies first baseman. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. One strike. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all the umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Base hit into right center. And this one bounds around against the wall. 
comes around all the way from first to score. It's a 3-3 game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick the teammates up when you're given a chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Into the box now, Justin Turner. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. The cover field. Yay. Comes the Braves manager out as he'll take that slow walk toward the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he'll lead with a couple of runners aboard that are his responsibility, meaning he'd be happy to get out of here with a no decision. Felix Hernandez takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Felix. At the plate now, Jay Bruce. As Hernandez is going to jump out of the middle strike one. No hits to this point. down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate four runs here in this half inning protecting on 0 and 2 so we'll do it again nothing in two count and the pitch and that one got a piece of You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, the veteran middle infielder, Logan Forsythe. Oh. 
from the belt. The pitch. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside. One and one. Runner at first here, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Struck him out. Now that is the pitch. Ready for another Jared. shot now. Jared Eichhoff. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like you did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Runner on first with two away. Behind 0 and 2 now. One ball, two strike count to the Phillies pitcher. One ball, two strike count. Got to think our man behind the plate thought twice about that one. About as close as it gets. From the stretch. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. But four runs score in the inning. Three coming right here on the three-run home run. Through five and a half, it's the Phillies six and the Braves three. Expecting a big hack here. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Freddie Freeman there. He'll hit next. Three and zero oh pitch on its way. Three and one. Tendy's got it, and there's one away. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. So the leadoff man's gone, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Here it comes. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. The one two. He's offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. 
That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really no well right picked. Up, man. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle end, and it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. High, a ball and a strike. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Hit hard down the left field line. But this will be foul. Breaking ball that can't find the zone and it's even at two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And Bruce will make the catch, and the inning is over. Braves are set down one, two, three. They're still doubled up. It's six three. Digging in once again, Gene Segura, the head-to-head -head history with King Felix. He's a 300 hitter, three for ten. He's taken him deep once. Out in front of it, strike one. Ball one. Down ball low, two. two balls and a strike. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Eight, two and two. two now. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. Last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Up next for Philadelphia, the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Andrew Benintendi. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. And a pitch one in the third one. as he lays off. It's one and one. Ball pitch two. taken several inches below the zone, in fact. One strike. up to the plate and easy take there and it's three and one now good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat started off with one strike and now he's got to count his favorite three and count one three and two three and two now It in. Throw to first to be in time, and Hernandez looking good here with two away. Up next for Philadelphia, the right fielder, Bryce Harper. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. And 
the pitch. Counts one and oh. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. That evens it up one and one. Two out, nobody on. Wallman, two strikes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Good job to lay off that one two breaking ball, put himself right back in this at bat. Here now the two two. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Number 25 has it, but the throw is late, so the inning will continue after the strikeout pitch gets away. And not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Reese Hoskins, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe no, elevate said. something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Two out with the man at first. Ball's 2 0. Oh. That can be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count. And if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. And Hernandez will no, go to first. There. Back in standing. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Here it is on three and one. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra base. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now a payoff pitch home. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Oh man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Now batting, Justin Turner. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. to this point in the inning. And there's the ball one. one. And 
and is ready's the 1-1. One, one. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And Hernandez okay. won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now, 3-2. and two. Jake Bruce would be next. This is line to left. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. The Phillies leave a couple as they're unable to add to their 6 to 3 lead. Mike Morin gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 28, Mike Morin. Half of the seventh here, and standing in is the veteran outfielder Marcelo Zuna. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's the ball. Four one. Warren was known as a short relief specialist, the guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. In there, and it's even at one. Now the one and one pitch. Weak grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, one and two now. Two and two to Marcelo Zuna. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Riding into the box, Dansby Swanson. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And this one runs up high, ball one. One out, nobody on. Swung out and belted. Looking up is Ben Intendi. Goodbye, home run. Swanson with the solo shot. Eight home run on the season for it. And they cut the gap here. It's now six to four. Hey, every once in a while, the speed guy will jump up and fight one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. So now to the plate, Austin Riley fouled away. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Misses, it's two and one. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Now this ball's hit deep to left field. Racing back the left fielder, still ranging back. And this one's gone. And they're within one after back to back homer. Solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year. And this will make things interesting if this one is now a 6-5 game.
this one run. Morgan. Rodriguez.
Chris Russell has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. New inning set to get underway. And stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter, Jay Blue. Jay Blue. First delivery to him on the way. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. One oh home. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Now the one and one pitch. Doesn't catch the outside corner, it's a ball. Now the two one. That's ball three. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Riding in once again, Zach Collins. He was drilled by a pitch his last time up. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiff it up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. And he fouls this one off. Especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. First offering on its way. Fouled off. One here it comes. Waved that and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Sinker oh, misses, and it's 1 and 2 now. And it's fouled away. One two pitch. And this is foul tipped as he stays alive here. But meanwhile, that ball came right back at our home plate umpire, and he may need some attention at this moment. One two is the cut fastball, but he holds back two and two. Hits are even at seven apiece. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Forsyth with a full three and two count. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at bat of the night so far. Strikeout 
in this series yeah. alone. So clearly this well, pitching staff, down. they figured out how to attack this guy. We'll see if he can make any adjustments. You're a Andrew McCutcheon will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. Side, but that's ruled a strike, nothing in one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Oh, he got fooled there. No balls and two strikes. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Great arm action on that two strike change up right there but even better job at the plate to take that one. The one two. He's a called third strike right on the inside corner. Well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it wasn't outrageous. Hey listen to the calling balls and strikes is a really tough job. job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Gene Segura. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Off the plate, ball one. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Two men are on with two men out. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But a foul ball. One and one. In the air out toward right field. Acuna is there for it. And that ends the inning. Phillies leave a couple. They lead it, however, it's six to five. You're Victor Arano is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the two. bottom half of the eighth. Number 64, Victor Arano. Exciting Ozzy Albies. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Giving Chase his Benintendi. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Digging in now, Freddie Freeman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Bases are empty, one man in. Ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. In for strike two. Two. 
Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Two, two, one more time. Breaking ball that time, but misses out of the zone. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And a fastball blew it right by him, and two down. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came to his own. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Ronald Acuna as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. One ball, Breaking one ball below the zone, that's ball one. Looked at from ball number two. Arano, the 25-year-old, is in his fourth season as a major league player. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Off, so it's full now, three and two. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep too. Three two picks. Popped up. And no, they can't get there. Another full count pitch home. Slow roller down the third baseline. Turner bare hands it. It's there, and he's out. Down in order go the Braves. This one remains close. It's six to five. And to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. And if you remember, I'm sure he does. He hit a round tripper back in the fourth. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here nope. we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Yeah. One and two now. He just catches the one other ball. half. Two an off-speed pitch, no dice, it's two and two. The pitch. Tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Bounty oh, takes something off there as this is swung down and missed, and there's one down here in the ninth. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. You oh, saw a good oh, job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard Perfect. for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. In 
into the box now. Bryce Harper fouled away. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Fastball way off target here, and it's even at one. Now the one and one pitch. Misses up and in. In there, two and two. to the right of second on to Freeman at first and there are two away now the first base number 17 Reese Hoskins and now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies Reese Hoskins he's got a hit in three at bats to this point first pitch of the at bat on its way Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Minter, a left-hander who goes an even six feet. He was taken in the second round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. The kids are buying his jerseys. And he fouls this one off. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 30, J.J. Robertson. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Marcelo Zuna. First pitch on its way. The ball playing inside. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the hole of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. 2 0 count. Here it comes. Good sharp slider there. He couldn't catch up to the 2 and 1 now. Two and two. Ball three. Three and two now. Dansby Swanson will be next. Time run board. They'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. 
into the box now. Dansby Swanson. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that high run from first. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this hit back. That last half, that, that was a changeup to get for a run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. And set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And they'll play for the tie here as he puts this one down. Segura yeah. for one. He'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance thrown to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. So a big moment here in standing in Austin Riley, and he does so representing the possible go ahead run. Quick check on that time oh, run at first, and he'll dive back in. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Would like to the slider and he takes strike one. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control. 0 and 2. Robertson. And here in his age 34 season, he's a veteran of 13 years at the major league level, which really points to the consistency he's shown since he first broke in. Yeah, Maddie, this guy has had an amazing career. And you know what? It's a testament to how hard he's worked, the changes he's had to make. This is a game of adjustments. You don't hang around this long if you're not prepared to make some adjustments along the way. Standing in now, number 25, and it's fouled away. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him at this point in the ballgame. Oh and 1, here it comes. Lifted in the air out towards left center. He'll make the final out to put an end to this one, and the Phillies have taken the first three games in this four-game set to look to sweep tomorrow as the ball game is over. And tonight's one-run game comes to an end six to five. The final. The Phillies wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Jared Eichler earns his fifth winner of the year. David Robertson earns the save out of the bullpen his fifth of the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Kuzak, and Heidi Wacky. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.